The human body is an incredible machine. For example, did you know that the body uses at least 30 different major muscles to take just two steps? You did? And that they all need to be completely coordinated to work at exactly the right time while applying precisely the exact amount of force needed? As I said, incredible. But unfortunately, this isn't always the case. Children with spastic cerebral palsy are limited in movement and posture. They are not born with these physical deformities, but they are developed over time. Rhythmic auditory stimulation is a therapy used to help regain functional, stable and adaptive walking patterns in patients who have significant walking problems. A study has been done to evaluate its effectiveness in helping children with spastic cerebral palsy to improve their walk. So what did this entail? Well, 25 participants were chosen between the ages of 6 and 20 years old. They were all divided into three groups, with each group having different treatments for a three-week period. Here, group one received the conventional physical therapy while being under the control of the researcher. In group two, a music therapist actively guided the children with the instructions and support for half an hour, five days a week. In group three, the music therapist showed the children how to feel the beat of the music and how to walk to it. This was shown only on the first day, as the following days of the study the children had to try to remember it and do it all on their own. Data were collected over the three-week experimental period. Now, when the results were examined, they found that the length of the stride, which is normally shorter in persons with cerebral palsy, and the speed had improved in group two, where the therapist had been actively involved. It also has to be said that group three, who had learnt to walk to the beat of the music after only being shown once, had also improved their speed. The balance of the children once again marked a difference between the two groups, where yet again group two had advanced by almost double in comparison to the self-learning group. As we can see, both groups that received music therapy had advanced greatly in comparison to those who didn't have music therapy. There is no doubt, and I'm sure you'll agree, that this study is very exciting. But the researchers also pointed out that even though rhythmic auditory stimulation is very promising, it is fundamental to understand how it can be applied to each individual child's training to gain the most from it.